So let's talk about Thor The Dark World, um, which is my least favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe film thus far. And that's not to say it's a bad movie or a terrible movie, but um, Thor The Dark World to me is the most pointless movie out of all of them, in my opinion. Because the way that the way that the movie works is that it's got the predictable uh, villain, the boring villain that has no depth, nothing about him you care about or feel bad for, and then the story, I feel like, just doesn't contradict anything else besides the fact that the ether is introduced, which is one of the Infinity Stones. But besides that, this movie feels like it could have not been made. And... You can argue about a lot of Marvel films that way, I guess, but to me, this feels like the most pointless out of all of them. And I felt like the humor in it was really, really over the top. The way that... The first one had a lot of over the top humor, too, but I thought it was... It had less of it in the in the first one, I felt like. In this one, I felt like it was balls-to-the-wall humor all the time, and I'm like... It, it felt like there was too much for me. Like, it, there was a lot that, to me... It took away from the seriousness of it, and I and I know that Thor Ragnarok, that one made it more humorous and made it a comedy, which is fine, but this one I felt like, in terms of tonally mixing each other, it felt like it was very dissonant from being serious to comedic, because it was mostly just comedic the whole time, but not in a way like Thor Ragnarok, where I really enjoyed that humor more. It just felt like it was more, from, more humor that was from the first one, but not as good, in my opinion. So the humor and the pointless story... And I pretty much feel like that's the reason why I think it's the le my least favorite out of all of them. But that doesn't mean it's bad. I think that the characters are fine. Like, I like Thor again. I like this arc. I like Jane Foster. I like how she connects more to the story in this one than the first one in terms of the final battle. Um, I like how they incorporate showing more of Asgard. I like how we get more fights there. We get more action. And we get more of Odin and Frigga and Loki and I like the idea of showing Loki after the Avengers and showing how sadistic he was and how he's being paid for it even though he gets out of prison in the movie but I like how he has an arc in this movie like the other ones that works really well um I think that I'm trying to think of anything else but I think that those are pretty much the moments the reasons why I think it's fine but overall, it's not one that I, I l genuinely love. It's just one that it's definitely my least favorite because of the humor, because of the bland villain, because of the bland story. Um, but like I said, the action's great. The characters are fine. But overall, this one's just... It's really underwhelming. It's just not one... It felt like the least happened in this movie out of all of them, and the bland villain did not help. It made it just really worse. And it's directed by Alan Taylor, who directed episodes of Game of Thrones. So it feels like you're a shoe in to get it right, but they just, they didn't get, it wasn't amazing. It just wasn't like, in terms of entertainment, it wasn't the entertainment I love like the other ones. Like, it's fine, but it's not, um, it's not as good. Um, it's just not one that's very, like, it's just not strong enough for me to say, like, it's one I love, like the other ones. Every single one, after, other than this one, I think I love. And this one, I just like. I don't think it's, like, amazing or, or bad. It's just in between. It's not... It's a definition to me of the popcorn version of the other movies, even though all they're all popcorn movies. But in terms of just being more dumber and being more sillier than the other ones. So I can definitely see why Thor Ragnarok took away most of these side characters and made it completely just balls to the wall humorous, but in a way I liked in Thor Ragnarok. So this is definitely the weakest Thor for me out of the three movies. Um, Ragnarok's definitely my favorite, but this this one is definitely my least favorite. So it's just it's it was just disappointing. It wasn't anything that was terrible or great, but it just wasn't. It was just in between. I can watch it. I it's not like I can't stand watching it. I just think that it's the most one of the most forgettable ones in the whole franchise.